Hello there, welcome or welcome back to my channel. It's so good to finally be back here on YouTube and it's been a while. I've been MIA for the last two years or so and it's so good to finally be back here on YouTube and I always wanted to go back and finally be consistent here on the platform again and yeah so here i am so in today's video this is going to be more on a live recap vlog slash sit down video i just thought that it's the best video that i should make going back to youtube because i don't know i just feel like there's a lot of things that has happened throughout the years and i just want to fill you guys in you know it's just for me to share my story basically and i actually have some videos here and there that i recorded with the intention of making it a vlog but i never really sit down and combine it all together to make a cohesive vlog content and so you know i just decided that i'm just gonna put it here everything here on this video and practically speaking i also want to delete some of these footages from my phone and also i want to save more storage so that's also the reason why i just want to you know put it out there so yeah so i think the last video i created and uploaded here on youtube was back in december 2019 it was about my 2020 new year's resolution and i think from that you can already tell like it didn't really go as planned i actually also created this cute mood board for 2020 and that's how excited i was for the year 2020 i actually thought it was going to be my year because around that time our eldest daughter which is our only daughter during that time um she was around three years or so and during that time she was pretty much developing some sort of independence it was also easier to tend to her needs and during this time she already communicates her needs better compared to when she was of course newborn to her earlier toddler years and so you know we were really looking forward to finally have more time for ourselves and traveling going out more and basically just enjoying our 20s so that's why we were really looking forward to 2020 but again covid happened and so we were just basically stuck at home like everybody else i think during that time everything just completely went downhill i really thought that it was the end of the world and i was just kind of depressed but i'm so glad that somehow everything now in 2023 i'm recording this so far everything has gone back to normal and people can enjoy the things that we used to enjoy before covid so yeah i'm so happy about that for sure and also that's why i'm very excited for the future and that this just means that there is hope and yeah i am praying and hoping for a brighter future for sure for everybody so yeah during this time we were pretty much isolated just like everybody else but during this time we're still very lucky that we had the luxury to go to the beach because actually we were living with our in-laws during this time and their house was actually by the beach like literally next to the beach so when you go out the house you can see the beach and so you know every afternoon we would go out we would stroll the beach every time it's low tide we would go out and you know we just spend time together as family it's literally part of our core memory you know everybody just enjoying the sand the sunset the water and like everybody's company basically so for some reason in 2020 we decided to try again for another baby during this time Clemmy she was already three years or so and she didn't really have much friends and um, she was pretty much lonely during that time although she had some sort of friends like neighbors um friends and also it was covid so she didn't really have a lot of options anyways she would have some friends come over like they're practically everyday people that we have contact with but the problem was they were much older than clemmy and so it was pretty much hard for them to bond with clemmy because of the age gap and so you know we just decided that yeah we're gonna try and me and my husband we actually both have siblings and so we know what it's like to have siblings the good and the bad and so you know i just we just thought that we want Clemmy to have 
a companion in life as like siblings are for life you know and parents were not gonna live forever and we want Glamy to have a family that she can always run to and that is her sibling and so yeah that's why we decided to try again and yes we were able to have another baby and although we were very excited i was more anxious actually on why i decided to have a baby during covid the cases were just increasing and increasing like every single day i always hear these reports you know or news about the situation in hospitals it's a mess you know covid patients were more accommodated and you know i was very much scared at that point on what's going to happen to me and i really don't know what to do basically during covid times and during the time we were actually living in Toledo city it's a province in cebu so it's a one and a half hour away f- from the city which there are hospitals there um i think there's like one public hospital in toledo but there weren't really any private or semi-private hospitals as far as i know so i was just left with this birthing center which was like the best option for me at that time and i do not regret ever choosing them they were actually one of the best for me it was such a great experience with that birthing center they were really accommodating giving birth already alone is already hard how much more if the hospital staffs are you know being rude to you which like happens in real life i have heard many stories about healthcare professionals are not so kind or nice to patients especially women giving birth you know there's a lot of common sometimes and i have experienced that for sure during my first delivery with my first baby for this birthing center my expectations were very low you know because it's a small birthing center they were very emotionally supportive to me yeah it really helped me with the delivery and everything with labor and so i'm so happy that i went along with them and during that time i was pretty scared of the scenario that i might have a c-section or whatsoever because you'll never know really during giving birth so yeah it's really different for everyone and so i was thinking like what am i going to do if i might have a c-section you know and that's not an option really because like the hospitals are an hour and a half away you know i don't know how it's gonna play because the birthing center only caters to normal delivery because they don't have a huge equipment like it's not a hospital it's just a birthing center you know so yeah that that was really my concern and so i did all my best to do a lot of research on how i can have a smooth delivery a healthy way like i did everything i could i eat the right food I did a lot of exercises, I walked a lot, I drank a lot of water, I followed everything that the doctor will say, you know, for me to have a better delivery. And because I did have kind of a bad experience with my first one, it was horrible. I think every first delivery might be horrible because like your body doesn't really know like it's a whole new experience but since it's my second time probably my body is kind of familiar with how it works you know but for sure yeah this time my labor was so much quicker i think i just had a labor for i think three hours or so it's not really long you know but although it's so painful it's still the same like the pain the thing with having an experience of giving birth is that you already know how it feels like you already know how painful it would be and like you just have to accept that you have no choice but to just feel all the pain you know i think in the first delivery i was pretty much excited because i didn't really know how it would feel i didn't know what to expect so in the second one i already know what to expect basically so yeah i was kind of scared going through that again but i pushed through and i delivered a healthy little girl and we're so so happy to have her in addition to our family and so yeah after a month from giving birth to our second baby girl i actually signed a new full-time client and so this time i needed to focus to my job and because of that 
we decided to hire a babysitter. The first week of having a babysitter was a total bliss because during that time there was nothing in the world that i want more than anything but to sleep like i just wanted to sleep and like in the first week of having a babysitter we just slept in you know it was so refreshing to finally fully rest and so yeah we were so happy to have a babysitter and eventually we decided to move out from our in-laws and we just had this feeling that this is the right thing to do and i have it in my gut that this is the best and the right thing to do right now and we followed that instinct and we were officially apartment hunting and we went to different uh, apartments you know it's a small city so there weren't really a lot of options um, but we were lucky enough to find this cute place. I think it was just the perfect size for our family. So yeah, I think everything was fine. It, everything was perfect. We liked the apartment so much. It was only used once. There was only one tenant before us. So it was still in very, very great condition. The other apartments that we saw was pretty much run down. Like there were so many damages and like it really smelled old. And it was also near like the road, like literally just when you go outside, like it's it goes straight down to the road, which like for me, it's a bit dangerous to have kids in there. It's not the ideal place that we would want. And so when we found this place, although going in to the place, like you have to walk like a few minutes in and the road is a bit, you know, bumpy. It's not fully renovated. And so it's every time it rains, it's so, so muddy and it's so hard to walk. But despite that, we still decided to go there because we like the environment around it. There were it was like surrounded by, you know, woods and stuff. And so, yeah, I, I really like you know being surrounded by nature and the neighbors were also very kind and nice and we were actually able to form some friendships you know with the neighbors they were really nice clammy also made a lot of friends in this new place and we were just really happy to be in this place um also the road actually they said that it's going to be renovated like in a few months and so we were just you know optimistic that it's gonna be all right they're going to renovate this road anyway and when we were actually apartment hunting we already have a cash at hand and we're, we were already ready to pay the down payment because we really just wanted to secure the place before moving in and so yeah we found the place like on the same day we liked it we just directly paid and so yeah on the same day that we found this place we just immediately paid but we didn't really move in right away we did some renovations we asked the owner if that's okay and she was completely cool with it and so yeah we did some renovations not really like a full renovation it's more on like a repainting also we didn't really have appliances and furnitures like yeah that was the time like oh okay like i just realized how expensive sofa is like everything is just expensive basically and so we made sure to buy everything and then it took us a month or so to have everything sorted out and ready and arranged and then we moved in and so in the first night i was actually pretty much crying because i don't know everything just happened so fast and you know there was so much memory in our in-laws house although there were also difficulties you know we had a lot of memories there you know um we lived there for three years and i was more concerned for clemmy she pretty much grew up there you know she had a lot of memories there uh she loved the beach and so you know i was pretty much kind of scared on the unknown i don't really know what's going to happen now because we moved i was even contemplating on going back like changing my mind like maybe this isn't the right decision but my husband reminded me that you know this is the right decision this is the right thing to do and i agreed with him because in my gut i know that this is what it's supposed to be so this is what we currently have right here so i actually filled in some of these containers since we're about to move in in a few days 
we also have our glasses here and we also have this kitchen utensil set from shopee i'm actually going to link everything down in the description box below so you can also get yourself some of these items and as you can see we have many things laying around here we actually still have a lot of stuff back in our in-laws house so what we currently have here are the things that we managed to move and also some of the stuff that we just bought so here's our bathroom we only added this wallpaper right here and we're also gonna put some mini shelves and a mirror also the only thing that we didn't change is the floor and here's our bedroom the only thing that we don't like about this room is that the walls are not fully cemented it's actually half like half cement and half wood but you know it's fine we can work things out anyways and so it didn't really put us off into choosing this place and here's my hubby right here he's currently assembling this quote-unquote closet but i don't recommend this closet at all it didn't really last that long in our experience and one thing i also liked about our apartment is how the sunlight looks in this place i actually took a mirror selfie here and like the lighting is so so bomb and the sunlight is not even that harsh and so you know i really love how it looks like inside so this is what we currently have we have this mini gas stove this kettle and this rice cooker we actually ended up selling this it was never used we actually saw this one rice cooker in the mall and i really like that rice cooker because it looks way better with our current home theme and so yeah we just decided to sell this rice cooker and it was very easy to sell you know many people were actually very interested yeah in no time we were able to sell this this rice cooker and we bought the one that we saw in the mall and this is for sure my favorite purchase of all this is our refrigerator it's the perfect color the perfect size like everything is just perfect i really love how it matches with our home aesthetic and so you know i just love love everything about this refrigerator and it was very hard to find a refrigerator that has this exact color and sleek design and so you know we were just so lucky that we were able to find this and it was within our budget looking at this picture right here right now it does sadden me a lot because we already have refrigerator in our new place and so there was no need for us to bring this refrigerator so we actually ended up selling this refrigerator to our in-laws because their refrigerator was broken from the typhoon and i guess i was also relieved that my refrigerator is going to be in good hands for sure i really love this refrigerator so much and you know i can look at it all day So today is Saturday and that means for me it's cleaning day. So I'm starting off with the dishes as always. I also cleaned up the containers, also clean up our shelves and you know rearrange everything.
I really have no idea why I decided to wear this dress while cleaning and filming but you know it is what it is I don't know probably I was already wearing this dress and I just woke up and decided to clean and film and so yeah and right now I'm actually making this oatmeal for Clemmy she's always the first person to wake up before anyone else and so I always make this chocolate oatmeal for her every day And we also have this inflatable sofa bed we actually were inspired to buy this because our neighbors they have this one right here and so i just decided to buy this inflatable sofa bed for now but it actually ended up to be the best choice for us because we didn't really stay in our apartment for a long time So it is November and I know people usually start decorating their houses around September but I don't know for me it's a bit later I only actually bought this Christmas tree as like the one decoration we have for Christmas I don't know I didn't really much care about decorations anyways and so I just have this Christmas tree I think that's just really the symbol of Christmas and so that's just what I bought And now I'm arranging our Christmas tree. I also have this cute little helper with me, Clemmy. And on the same day, I actually decided to put our pictures up already. We actually had a photo shoot just in this house. So on the day of the photo shoot, I set everything up in the house. We only used my studio lights and I hired a makeup artist and a photographer. And you know, everything was just perfect. I really love how the photos came out. It was just everything I envisioned. And also, by the way, these frames are very cheap. I just bought them in like a Chinese appliance store. And you know, everything there was super cheap. And so I had these. They're actually not glass. They're just transparent plastic. And so I don't have to worry about them falling and breaking. So today is a coffee date with my good friend, Honey, and we decided to go to this new cafe in town. Before going to the cafe, we actually went into this mini art gallery and so yeah, we just had so much fun chit-chatting and you know, just drinking coffee and enjoying each other's company. So today, I'm working with this model right here for a client of mine who owns a hair care brand and it was very tricky to find 
a model that has a curly hair because that's what we were looking for during that time and so i was so happy that i was able to find this girl right here hi so yan yung yaya namin umuwi na and yung model din umuwi na din so yeah that was that was a wrap tonight it's already night time um i still have to fix things up here because you know i have set up dito so i have to fix that and arrange everything then after that head back to my computer again and work things because um marami pa kong gagawin din when it comes to my work so yeah i'm just gonna clean up everything here and then after that go back to my computer again at the same time watching my kids so yeah see so ya yeah. i have to check up on my kids So Clay is actually two years old now and looking back at this video right here it really just takes me back and like i'm just crying she's so adorable and on the same night we just had some jollibee for dinner so my sister just arrived here in cebu and we're just so happy to finally be with her and so we just decided to go out and grab some afternoon snacks So the following night, me and my husband, we decided to have a mini dinner date. We just set up everything up like to be this romantic thing. So it was actually a rainy night and so we just decided to wind down and relax and have a great time together. And in the following day, we actually went out to get some Tuslobua for lunch. And we also just enjoyed this beautiful ocean view while eating. Looking back at it now, like if we didn't move, something's bad going to happen for sure if we hadn't moved. And I'm gonna tell more about that shortly. But yeah, so far we stayed in this place. We were pretty much happy. We were pretty much enjoying ourselves, you know, in our new place. We have our own place. You know, I love just staying there. Basically, it really grew on me and I love that we can finally have a place on our own. So yeah, in December, there was a super typhoon that occurred in Cebu. And throughout my seven year stay in Cebu, like at least on where I live in Cebu because we were like moving a lot like we were moving around Cebu so we live in different cities in Cebu and so we have never experienced super typhoon and I guess it was our fault that we weren't really paying attention to the news one night you know it was raining heavily we didn't really know what was going on because again we weren't really paying attention to the news and the electricity was out and um we were just there we were just thinking that it's just like a normal rainy day and we we didn't really think it was anything serious you know and then suddenly my husband's grandparents evacuated to our place because they said it was already flooding in their place we were just shocked because like have we not moved out like i don't know what we would do if we stayed in my in-laws house there would be 
two children, two elders in the house. And we also have our two main computers that we saved up for like throughout the years. And our computers are basically our source of income. And so if they were damaged, like I don't know how we would recover from that basically. I just had goosebumps during that time of me realizing that, you know, it's really important to follow your gut. And so after the typhoon, you know, everything was just like a mess, like going out. It was our first time ever experiencing the aftermath of a super typhoon. And it was so, so hard. I never really thought, you know, I mean, how can someone survive in this situation? Like there was no water, no electricity. Also, even drinking water, there was no drinking water at all. Like everything was just running out and there were gas shortage, water shortage. Like drinking water was so expensive. Everybody was just out and about looking for uh, these resources. I remember when we would just go out to the well to take a bath. And yeah, it was just like a whole new experience. I I just admire the people from Summer or Leyte. It's not easy. Like I admire their strength in, you know, going through such traumatic experience. During this time, we can really appreciate like the everyday things that we take for granted. You know, and so after that, I always appreciate everything I have even more. The electricity, the water, like all the blessings and that we should never really take them for granted. And so during this time in December, prior to the typhoon, my sister actually visited us in Cebu. So she's with us in the house, you know. And after the typhoon, my father came to Cebu. He was actually meaning to go to Negros Occidental to visit my grandparents and my sister would also tag along with him to Negros Occidental. So people were asking when is it gonna come back? Like when is everything you know going to come back? Like especially the electricity and the government I think uh, as far as everybody knows they said that it's gonna take probably two to three months for everything to go back to normal like at least the electricity and so we just thought that oh no it's not gonna work like this because i have clients you know i need to work like there's no way i can wait for two months to go back to work and so we also know a lot of people where they would go to different places i think some people would go to bohol but then they found out that it's also bad in bohol like they were also affected by the typhoon but some people also went to Negros Occidental and they said that everything was perfectly fine there and although we can just go to Negros Occidental since I have my grandparents there and it's much closer we decided just to go all the way back it was supposed to be in Feb but because of everything that happened you know we decided to just already go because there was already no reason for us to stay any longer in Cebu because of the situation and so you know yeah we decided to move the process of saying goodbye like to the neighbors to our new house to everybody we know it was a bit difficult you know although we were making a huge and hard decision to move which is very far from Cebu we knew that it was the right thing to do at that time and so we followed that sign from God that we should go back and so yeah we did go back and i think the process of buying tickets were also difficult we literally spend the whole day in line to buy ferry tickets fortunately you know it was so much easier for us to get tickets because we were already vaccinated and during that time you can't travel if you are not vaccinated you know i think we got vaccinated just around december or november i think you know and so yeah it was such a good timing i think and so after a few days we then packed everything that we can we didn't really packed everything because we had so many things around you know we can't really bring everything and so we just brought whatever we could and that the most important things that we should bring and so we had to just put our things in the apartment for now we just leave it there um yeah it was so sad to leave the apartment you know um I definitely knew that probably it's going to be the last time that we're going to be there. 
um also saying goodbye to the babysitter she was actually one of the best she really took care of both of my children and so we really love her for that she's also very hard working and we wish the best for her i don't know where she is right now but i hope she is okay and so yeah we move and we just had everything sorted out we cleaned we actually hired someone to help us with the general cleaning because i wanted everything to be clean and organized because it was quite a bit messy during that time because the house wasn't taken care of fortunately we were able to settle down and everything was all right so in january i was actually contacted by a relative friend of ours and they were actually looking for a model for their video game ad campaign and so i was basically more like an extra in this ad and so yeah we actually filmed everything within two days and so yeah it was such a fun experience for sure So me and my husband went out for a lunch date in this new cafe in town and so yeah we just really enjoyed going out just the two of us without the kids and just you know spend time together eating out and enjoying this mountainous view. So also in Feb, it's Clay's first birthday. So we don't usually throw birthday parties for our kids' birthday. But I always make exemptions for their first birthday. And just like Clemmy's first birthday, I also want to throw a birthday party for Clay. You know, just to celebrate her first ever birthday. And it is actually a lot of work. And there's our nanny during that time, taking care of the birthday girl. I also have my sister and our niece help out with the decorations and all. And it was such a fun thing to do, like decorating with family. So we really had a blast on her first birthday. So the following month is Clemmy's 5th birthday and for her birthday, we decided to go to a resort and she actually wanted to be a mermaid and so I bought this mermaid costume set. Clay also has her on theme swimsuit and you know, they're just so cute together. Since Clemmy is the birthday girl, you know, we wanted to add in the tail. She's so beautiful in it and I really love how, you know, it all came together. So I've been eyeing this cafe and so we decided to go out and look into the place and try out their coffee and their food and we really had a great time together the three of us you know we just had a blast I usually just order through grab you know and I think that you know once in a while going to a cafe is also like you know a fun thing to do Also, their food are so, so good. Like, I really love how they all taste. And the price is very, very 
justifiable and so I would definitely go back to this place. And after going to the cafe, I decided to get my eyes checked and get myself a new pair of glasses because it's been a long time since I had new ones and so I just thought it's the best time to get new ones. So for December, so we actually didn't celebrate Christmas. We just thought that it's more practical to celebrate it all in one day. So we just celebrated Christmas and New Year on New Year's Eve. We actually prepared many gifts for the kids, for them to open, you know, and we just want the whole experience to be as joyful as it can be, especially for the kids. And I couldn't be more happier for all the blessings that we have throughout the years and also for all of the more blessings to come. And so around in Feb, I just signed two main clients during this time and so I had to work full time at this point and we decided to hire babysitters again to help around the house and to just help with the kids and all and you know it was so refreshing to have someone take care of everything around the house and with the kids and during that time i was pretty much focused with my work um although it was nice to have a job but i was you know pretty much overworked i was basically working 24 7 at that point i didn't really have any breaks i barely have time for myself let alone for my family and so yeah work just basically took over and my health was deteriorating over time and you know it really affected me mentally and physically for sure after that i just let go of those work you know because there's no way that i can be in a healthy place if i'm still working for those people you know so and so i had decided to just let go and to find better opportunities and so here i am right now i'm i actually love my current client right now um he's more laid back and um yeah i actually have more time for my family and for myself and so here's why i'm back here on youtube again i really want to continue what i started and i want to continue on sharing my stories and like whatever the heck i want basically and so that's why i'm back here on youtube so every week you're going to get new fresh content from me i'm not really sure yet like the exact day every week i'm going to upload the content but you know i'm trying it's a bit difficult to find a shooting schedule with a lot of people in the house and so yeah uh please bear with me so thank you so much for spending time with me today if you like this video please give this a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you're not gonna miss any new videos from this channel thank you so much again and see you in the next one bye